Hello, welcome to this short tutorial where I will take you through the process of creating uh, image of an evidence by using in case. Um, ideally, um, I would think probably you can use FTK to make it simpler. However, in case does offer uh, some interesting uh, functions or features um, when you are trying to create an evidence image. So. Let's see that. It will be quite short, simple process anyways. I will uh, try to explain all these steps uh, with details. So after opening the um, end case, when you want to create um, an evidence image, what you need to do first, uh, obviously you create a case and then you open that case. After opening that case, at the moment, if I click on browse, I don't have anything attached here simply because um, I did not added any evidence here. Uh, so what I need to do, I need to go to this evidence section and I need to click on add evidence um, to add whatever I wanted to do. Now, my aim here is um, I have a local device which is my USB stick. What I want to do, add this local device to this case and then create an image of that local device. Um, what will be forensically sound image, what I can use for any other purpose uh, in future. So, uh, so far, all I have showed you is uh, to use add evidence file. I just gave you the evidence file, you use that, investigate it. So this is kind of behind the scene, how we can create that evidence file. So first I'm clicking on add local device. Uh, so memory stick which is connected to this computer directly will call it local device any sort of device really connected to your computer you can find it here couple of different options if you are using a write blocker that will come under this detect legacy fast block but I'm not using any write blocker here I'm just using typical hardware what is connected to this computer so from here you could take the image of the um, physical memory as well but that's not part of this particular tutorial anyways so i'm selecting detect tableau hardware what i will expect all the drives i have so here i have d drive which is this computer's drive hard disk i have i which is the memory stick connected to this computer. I will request you to um, carefully see the sign. This is a drive sign and this is a memory stick sign. Sometimes you will also see hard disk sign. Uh, so if you wanted to create the image of the whole volume, then you would be taking that. So for me, what I'm doing, I'm just I'm checking the drive. I don't want to create the image of the drive. I will check uh, the, uh, the, um, the memory stick what I have connected here because my intention is just to add this stick to the uh, end case so that I could create an image of that. So clicking on finish it will take a while and then you will find that here. If you want to see the contents of what you have in there you could just click on that that will give you all the contents of that particular drive memory stick whatever you are connecting so what i want to do now i'm not investigating this disk right here i just want to create an evidence image so that i could investigate later so uh, if i just click you don't need to click really i right click here so i just need to right click here and acquire you have two options uh, in some cases you may need to acquire a logical file imagine um, you are investigating a dot PST you are investigating someone's email conversation probably it is um, uh, your warrant cover only to look into that person's uh, email conversation therefore you had to create the image of only one particular file which will have the extension of .ost, .pst, so on forth. Um, so that will allow us to create logical evidence file. What I want to do and um, logical evidence file will have the file extension 
L01 or LX01 if you remember that we talked about that in some other class um, so now what I want to do I want to create a full evidence file everything I have in this disk I want to take it what we call bit by bit image so I'm clicking on acquire here now some of these options are simple so uh, you give a meaningful name um, you SB, whatever you give a meaningful name uh, when you are working on actual case you have evidence number case number examiner name if you want to add any other notes absolutely fine um, now mainly you want to focus on this area where you want to save this image to so by default um, I'm seeing this path users MR15 desktop and this will be the file name so I gave this name and dot e01 came by default I will show you something else in a second now you can always have alternative path mainly because let's say you are copying a very large file after copying X amount of that file still you have more to copy but your destination disk doesn't have enough space therefore if you could select an alternate path rest of the files could go onto the alternate path I don't have any alternate path I'm leaving it as it is uh, most important feature you will find here on second tab where we have format if you go to format I hope you remember we talked about uh, two file types if you are using in case version 6 or above that can support both of the file types however older in case which is version below 6 can support only dot e01 file so you need to decide what type of image you are going to create here uh, whether you want to have ex01 or e01 so let's say i'm leaving it as e01 file if you wanted to compress the image what you could you have 100 gb target disk uh, you could compress it up to 50 gb however please bear in mind that uh, compression depends on number of other scenarios if a disk does have lots of compressed files there will not be any more compression on top of that so that will not work um, but uh, if you say that you want to compress what will happen it will kind of double the time or more uh, so take it into your consideration when you are creating the image uh, whether you want to compress it or not if you do compress it uh, be ready um, for this to be very time consuming process now in case evidence image will integrate the verification hash within the file you have option to choose md5 sha1 or both whatever you want to have not a problem uh, file segmentation as I was mentioning earlier let's say you have a target disk of 100 GB but let's say you have 250 GB hard disk with you now what you could do you could say that segment the file for 50 GB each after creating first 50 GB file it will create another 50 GB file so first file will have the file extension file name dot e01 second file will have the file extension as file name dot e02 when you bring both of the files to your end case you want to start investigating the case you will have to have both of the files to this case otherwise file will not be opening simply because uh, one file which has e01 extension will have the header another file which has e02 extension just assuming that after segmenting you have two files so second file will have the hash at the end of that file in case records to have the header as well as the end otherwise it will not allow you to open that case you will not be able to do anything so that's file segmentation could be very useful 
time to time probably uh, you want to have a password protected file as well so if you want to have a password protected file you could have um, the password protection here let me see what we have in advanced now um, advanced probably if you did not um, uh, if you miss the class of engage file format then it will not make much of sense now just briefly I will take you through if you remember in case we'll take small um, block size after each block of data in case we'll have a CRC and then at the end again in case we'll have full MD5 or SHA or both so here you can decide what will be the block size for each CRC to be generated when you are dealing with a large file most of the cases you want to have larger block size uh, so that process could be faster it could waste less space so coming back to location all I have done check some functions here in location format and possibly you don't need to check the advanced features just if you um, are um, if you know about all of these uh, sectors um, error stop sectors then you can do that otherwise you just want to check locations and format mainly these are your options so when you are done just click on ok it will take a while and after that you will have usb.e01 file what you can add to the uh, in case and it will work so it will take quite a while for me i'm just cancelling it uh, once it is done uh, it's not a problem i believe uh, you can handle it from there okay thank you i will see you on some other tutorial later thanks